Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week, I thought, let's break it down to the basics. The most basic thing you could do, I thought I would bring you with me as I get dressed and ready for the day. I know that sounds super simple, but I often get comments about how much you like hearing the thought process when I shop my closet, and I thought, why don't I take you with me? on my morning journey through my closet. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to build an outfit from scratch together, going through kind of what my process is and what are those little like things that I always keep in mind as I'm getting dressed. I hope you like it. Um, before we dive in, for those of you who are new, welcome. Every week I talk about slow fashion with a heavy focus on the principles of minimalism. So using and loving what you already have and making smart shopping decisions so that you create a closet full of pieces that you actually love and wear. So if that sounds like your jam, hit subscribe below. I post every Sunday. And for those of you who are coming back, big hello, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for coming back and watching. Without further ado, how to build an outfit 101. Before even shopping my closet, the first thing that I do is I check the weather. And sadly, even though we are in the first week of May, it is not even hitting double digits. It will only be seven degrees and cloudy. Uh, that's the high. I don't even know why uh, I look at the weather. It's just so depressing. Uh, next thing I look at is my agenda. So I've got clients, an event, and I'm getting my hair done, and I'm going for lunch with a friend. So I have to look presentable, but I also have to be pretty comfortable because I've got to be running around the city for the day. So now that I know weather and my itinerary for the day, I finally just check in with my mood. Sometimes it's just fun to dress according to your mood or use your closet and what you're going to wear that day to lift you up a little if you find yourself waking up in, you know, on the wrong side of the bed. Because statistics have proven that what you physically put on your body can you know, change the way you put yourself out into the world. Um, so I don't know if any of you do that as well. Let me know in the comments below. I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoy wearing a very similar kind of outfit formula for most days. So I'm gonna wear just my kind of basic jeans and a t-shirt with a cool structured jacket and maybe zhuzh it up with some shoes and stuff like that. If you're not a fan of like a daily outfit or wearing a similar outfit formula every day, then you can also try just building the first part of your outfit, so the base, out of basics and neutrals. That way it's easier to kind of build the outfit on top of that or pick one piece that you wanna build your outfit around. It could be a jacket or a pair of shoes or even a really cool pair of earrings. Just make sure that you're using kind of the tones and textures in that one piece to build the outfit around because that'll really help you guide the look and start you off feeling less overwhelmed. I've chosen these awesome straight leg Levi's because they are super versatile in terms of how I want to cuff or roll them. And the t-shirt that I've chosen was actually given to me by this amazing Canadian company called Encircled. And I get a lot of questions about staple t-shirts too. I've been wearing this for about a month. I've washed it twice and I'm absolutely in love. It drapes really beautifully because it's modal. So it's a nice natural fiber. It's biodegradable, which I love handcrafted in Toronto, which I also love, but the reason why I chose it, especially for today, is because Modal is a little bit more breathable than a synthetic fiber, and it doesn't, I find it doesn't wrinkle as much as cotton, so I really like how it drapes. Hang on, I'm gonna bring you in closer. I also really like how it looks a little bit richer, especially if I'm wearing a t-shirt that has to be more presentable to clients and stuff like that. The Modal has a little bit more of a dressy feel. And the t-shirt itself, hang on, I'm gonna show you, is actually quite long. It actually goes past the bum, which is pretty awesome. And it also, another favorite of mine, doesn't wrinkle too much if I tie a knot in it, which I really like to do. However, because today is more of a professional day, uh, I'm going to tuck the t-shirt all the way in. Anyway, because Encircled is uh, B-certified, this means that their modal was sourced in a sustainable way. So 
not only does it feel good, which I really like the way it drapes, um, I know it's it's been kinder to the planet as well in its production. So instead of um, a cotton t-shirt, I've chosen this one on purpose because it's a little bit more elevated. So if you are interested in Encircled, I'll link to them down below. I've chosen a medium. I kind of like things a little bit looser and oversized, especially when they've got this beautiful drape. See, it looks just as good with the quasi tuck. I love that. So now that I've got my base, I'm gonna add my structured blazer. So I've actually chosen my very, very old brocade jacket from H&M. And I love this because I'll be able to take it off. I always try to incorporate a contrasting style or color. So I like how it's got that unexpected combination. For shoes, I want to wear something comfortable, but I also want it to still look a little bit elevated. So I'm gonna grab my heeled loafers. The main reason why I've chosen a heel is because I've decided to cuff my pants with this crazy ginormous cuff. And I did that because, I don't know, I think it looks interesting. And it adds interest to this whole look. This giant cuff at the bottom of my leg, super unflattering. This is gonna kinda cut me off right at the bottom. So I really do need a heel if I'm gonna wear the pants like this. Next is jewelry. I'll probably just grab my signet ring, it's gold, but it's more, I think, my ears or my neck that might need a little something. Okay, so I've got my earrings. I'm happy about that, my simple ring. The reason why I'm not gonna add a necklace is because I've got two kind of different necklines happening. I've got the crew from this jacket and then the nice kind of, not too deep, not too shallow V here. But because they're already kind of contrasting each other, I think a necklace is gonna make this little zone way too busy. So instead, I'm going for a little bit more of a substantial earring that still complements the outfit, but doesn't, you know, I'm also a huge fan of belts, but I'm not gonna add one to this outfit because of the same principle. This jacket is already short and meeting perfectly with the top of my jeans. So there's already a visual cue happening here. I don't wanna make it more complicated. Like why, why complicate life? Because it's pretty cold outside, I'm gonna throw another coat on top of this. So not only will this make my look, I think a little bit more kind of, dynamic looking because there will be several layers. It also means that I'm gonna roll these bad boys down. When I wear layers, I try to really make sure that it looks like I'm wearing layers. So I'm gonna keep the sleeve of my first jacket longer than the sleeve of my second coat. I have really long arms, so I mean, I'm never gonna win this battle, <laughs> but I still make sure that the trench coat sleeves is cuffed a little bit higher. I like that both of these layers contrast really nicely with the black t-shirt. So here's the jacket, some little self-indulgent posing for you. Um, but the other thing you can do if you really wanna show off your layers and be like some crazy cool Instagram star is wear your jacket like half off your shoulders. I mean, again, a little bit like a cape. I don't know how anyone gets anything done like this, but you know, maybe just snap a picture for the gram and then call it a day. Finally, I'm gonna add a bag, and the reason why I'm choosing this navy blue number is that it has structure. There is nothing like a structured bag to make you look like you've got your life together. The last thing I do before heading out the door and starting my day, I see if there's anything that I might be able to add that will just kind of finish the outfit. I don't have a lot of scarves, and this is probably the one that, although the color's definitely not spot on, I think it's still kind of going with my neutral tones, and I'm not gonna put it around my neck just yet. I'm just gonna wrap it around my purse, and I kind of like how it just finishes the look a little bit better just by hanging there on my purse, but it's also there if I need it. So I'll show you my final look and then I'm gonna just quickly show you what I'd wear if it were like a very hot, hot weather situation because I know a lot of you don't have to deal with crazy freezing cold conditions in May. So I'm gonna show you that in a second.
So, if I lived in a warmer climate, I would keep the same outfit formula, but just change the elements a little bit. So the first thing I would do is swap out the denim for a pair of shorts. These super cute lace ones! So not only do they provide a contrast in color, but they also provide a really cool contrasting texture and style. So instead of grabbing my blazer that I had on for that first look. I think these three elements, there's just too many differences happening. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to throw on my black double-breasted blazer. The other reason why I'm doing this is that if I'm going to wear these shorts to sort of, you know, a client, although I am in a creative industry, if I were to go back to my banking days, there is no way I would wear these shorts to the office. That is, they're like, you know, borderline too short and they're way too casual. However, all of my clients are retailers or people who are already very familiar with me and my work, so I'm comfortable wearing these shorts in that situation. I would not recommend wearing this in like legal finance offices, that kind of corporate environment. So to make these shorts, a little bit less playful, I'm going to contrast them with this really kind of straight authoritative blazer. Finally, for the shoes, I'm going to be wearing a flat because this is like a lot of leg. So I'm going to grab my metallic pointy flats, which because of the point and because of the metallic, I think really kind of, you know, they don't look relaxed or casual, they still look pretty authoritative. And the fact that they're silver and that these buttons are gold doesn't matter. I mean, metallics mix beautifully together, so why wouldn't that be able to happen in an outfit? This also has a lot to do with the balance that I try to inject in all of my outfits. So if I've got a really short hemline, I'll keep the heel really low. So it always balances either modesty and sexiness or playful and authority. And for the bag, I'm gonna grab my beautiful secondhand coach saddle bag, which it doesn't have the kind of same authoritative structure as that blue one, but I really like how it blends with the color palette. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. To be completely honest, Getting dressed is like the best part of my day. I will prioritize it over doing my hair and makeup. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to check out Encircled below. I really do think they're a great Canadian company. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you learned something new, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.